We have Big Oval. <laughs> this one has to get up. Oh, look at Jay Jim. You could make a hundred level version of this game like once you have a starting point really fast, and that can be really powerful in making a game that you want to get to market. Um, that said, this one, like, there's no ramp to it. It's just immediately immensely difficult, unless you rush the end really fast, and then it's immensely easy. Uh, if you get to because uh, you were, you had to cut off a little bit, but if you touch the boss, um, you win. And uh, you can just do that before things start spawning if you're careful. Um, but uh, and there's no resetting, which would have made the, the whole demo experience a lot more pleasant. Um, but yeah, so I, I don't I didn't see the theme in it, but I could see a game you could make out of the sort of rough rough play that it was. Yep. Uh, plus one to all those. Uh, it was way too hard out the gate. Um, I didn't really have a lot of feedback through the audio or instructions on how to move. I kind of had to figure that out on the go, which might have been okay, but I think the biggest sticking point is having to reset the web page every time. I think that's a really easy way to just increase the uh, enjoyable experience. Um, outside of that, I, I can see the ritual habits kind of forming in this gameplay, right? If you have different waves, different levels, like you're you're learning how to um, master certain shapes that you're avoiding. I think that would be really good. So it's more time with this cooking. I can, I can see it coming together. Um, I, same stuff that Matt and Clayton already called out. Um, the thing I noticed the most was the story, of course, that they wrote that was just on the itch page at the bottom about the big oval and this like, big thread. And that was like, they. The, the text didn't really match what I was expecting when I started looking at both the game. Um, but that, that part of the world building was really interesting, and it was well done. Yeah, I also really enjoyed the story. Um, to be honest, I was kind of expecting some like RPG type experience just based off the story. Um, that's not what it was, but that's all right. Um, and along with um, having to reload the page being a bit frustrating. There were also points where the level just literally wasn't beatable because the entire level was uh, an enemy, or like the entire um, wall. Um, and I ranked that while trying to rush the boss, so that was a little frustrating. But yeah, I, I think there is a, uh, a core concept here that could be fixed up pretty quick. All right, thank you judges, and thank you team and Bay